Hello, dear student. Welcome to um, another lesson in psycholinguistics. This is the fourth lesson, which will be about speech production. A chosen 1990 suggests that there are two broad processes involved in speech production. These are lexical selection and assemblage. Concerning lexical selection, the idea is that lexical selection process has been viewed as an important means of determining speech production processes in that the tip of the tongue phenomenon suggests that there is an attempt to choose particular words that fit into the intended meaning but wrong or related in terms of meaning or sound may be chosen instead so basically when we want to communicate meaning we want to say something talk to people uh, we select some words to make uh, an utterance or a sentence, okay? In that selection of words, sometimes we select the wrong words, okay? That is what is lexical selection. This, this is why someone may say knife instead of wife, because of, you know, tiredness, etc. So people choose the wrong words, which are very... Uh, lexically related to the ones we want to, to, to select. Okay, so knife and the wife, they are only different in one in one uh, cell. So, or as it is often or often the case with many of us, in answering another caller, we may say sir to a woman instead of uh, ma, for example, or vice versa, or madam instead of madam, sometimes we say sir. Thus, it shows that there is uh, some relationship in the choices made by speakers in their production of speech. Nevertheless, an important point uh, made by H is, an, is her observation that, that verbs seem to get selected first and thus less liable to err in production. Okay, so whenever we want to to select words to make a, to form a sentence or to form an utterance where uh, verbs uh, get selected first Ver verbs are the ones selected first which are uh, not uh, you know less liable to errors but other words are more liable to uh, errors in production another process is assemblage the slip of the tongue phenomenon gives the easiest clue to the assemblage process. It involves words, morphemes, syllables, and phenomena, and for uh, sorry, and phonemes. There are about three possible manners in which the process occurs. So in assemblage is categorized into three three classes. So we have anticipation, preservation, and transposition, according to each is in 1990. I'm going to see each one of them in this video. So, concerning anticipation, it has to do with uh, when an item comes earlier than expected. Sometimes you may say, when we want to say sea shells, you say she shells. Okay? So, uh, you anticipate because she is in the second word. Okay? So, you anticipate it and you come up with saying it in the first, in the first word. She shells instead of sea shells. And we have... Uh, preservation, preservation, not, not preservation, but preservation, uh, is uh, the wrong repetition of a linguistic item. Okay, wrong repetition. For example, one one way world instead of one way road. So there is this preservation of where we have where and stays we take another word instead of a okay so you repeat one one letter okay one item linguistic item wrong okay in a wrong repetition one way wild instead of one way round you know in speech when people speak fast and when they are tired they make such uh, you know mistakes then we have transposition this one involves uh, a situation where items substitute one another. So we have this substitution. Clean spring instead of 
spring cleaning okay so here what happens is that first there is the swap swap of words so words are swapped that's one thing the other thing is that we we added for example here in this in this case we added the ing to the wrong to the wrong word okay so normally this cleaning that we should i add ing to you so we have spring cleaning but because of you know in, in speech sometimes you uh, you say clean springing uh, that is why you know this this happens in speech in speech production and this is the case of transposition thank you very much for your attention i hope this video um, is beneficial and see you in the next one